So the next part really is the uh, the cooker, which um, the all of the ignitions for the entire oven, grill and the cooker uh, is here. So that's for all three at the top, the grill and the oven. And they've all got thermocouples on them, so they won't let any gas through if it's not hot. So if the flame got blown out, then it wouldn't let any more gas through. Uh, in the bathroom, all of your, you know, sink, shower, all that kind of stuff is, is all self-explanatory. Um, but to open the flap is this top lever here, and the blue button is to use your flush fluid. The light switch for that is there, by the way, as well. Um, then over to here, um, we've got sort of like the control panel, I suppose. Um, on the right hand side here is choosing which battery uh, to run things from. So at the moment it's pointing up towards AUX, which means the leisure battery. And if you had it pointing down like this, it means that your engine battery is now supporting all of the lights and uh, uh, your ignitions and things like that. So you can leave that on AUX for the most part. The middle button here shows you how much water is in your fresh water tank. So if you look at the bottom gauge, it says full. And on the left here, I've now switched it off, but if you put, put it down like that, that means that your pump is now switched on. So if you went to your tap, pulled through, you would get water come through. You do need to uh, go to the tap and make sure the hot water uh, is pressurized and there's no air in the system before you can use your boiler as well. Uh, your TV point, so your aerial point is there and you can plug it in if it's either a 240, uh, TV or a 12 volt one there. Um, so these two are how you use things on 240 uh, and they equate to the thing that they're next door to. So this one here is how to use your um, boiler via the gas. So this is a temperature setting and twist it all the way around like that to actually get it to light up. And then obviously the one, like I said, the next one next door to that you click that down when your hookup is connected up then your hot water will start heating up via the element inside with your hookup cable um, if you want to use your heating down here on 240 then you need to switch this on and then choose how many watts you want it to use up and i have written on the hab sheet how many amps each one uses up so for the most part you can leave these both off um, and that's that the heating is nice and easy. On the right hand side you've got your fan, so you've got one to five settings, how powerful you want it, and that sends air, hot air around to all of those vents around the van. You switch it off. And to actually light it up, you go round with this one. Again, you need two hands really. But all you need to do is just like a hob, push in and hold, and then use this here, which is the igniter, um, and then look through this little hole here and you'll see it light up. And when it is lit, you need to hold it, hold it, hold it, and then slowly let go, and then turn it around uh, like that. And then it will come onto the main flame. And you should keep your eye on it, make sure that it does stay lit for a little while, and then uh, you'll be all good. Um, I would recommend to leave the fan running for say five or 10 minutes or so after you've had this on for a little while, because you do get a big rush of heat coming out on the top if you don't do that. So just personal preference kind of thing make sure that you do leave it on for just a little bit after you've uh, turned it off. Um, what else have we got? Be careful here. I mean, it is obviously covered up anyway. Uh, be careful here because this is where your uh, flue for your heating goes. Um, and it goes up all the way through up to the roof. Uh, this is your awning winder. And these are the bits and pieces that you need for uh, filling up your tank. Um, just trying to think if I've covered everything. I think I have. Uh, oh, no, I haven't. Let's look under here. So this is under, just show you where we are. This is the near side settee. So under here, we've got all of your fuses, little bank of fuses, tells you what each one does. And on the right hand side is your RCD and MCBs. So if you do get any issues, um, like you try to plug something into a socket and it won't work, then the switch on the right hand side will be facing down. You just need to open this up and flick it up. 
Yeah, that's it. I have obviously on the have check checked all of that, uh, and it all works as it should. Um, but yeah, so I think I've covered about everything. Um, but if I've missed anything out, um, then obviously let us know. We look forward to letting you have your van and uh, hoping that you enjoy it. Thanks very much.